Sandy is, in my opinion, and I'm sure in the opinion of very many people, close to as perfect a human being as there is. She is loyal, she is determined, focused, smart, has a high energy level, brings a great deal of passion to everything that she does. There's this yin and yang with Sandy that is just so rare. She has this ability to cut through issues, do all the strategic planning, and yet at the same time listen and really help to cut through and really get at the heart of how you're there to help children and how our staff is feeling and how the organization is doing. It's a remarkable combination. Sandy is omnipresent and when you are sitting around a boardroom table or in a strategy session, her voice is always reasoned, it's always impassioned, and she always has a point of view that moves the conversation to another level. She's really looking down the road, uh, looking at the big picture, and uh, keenly interested in, in uh, the effectiveness of the organization, whether it's Big Brothers, Big Sisters, the Boston Foundation, United Way, the legions of other organizations that she has helped and been involved in over the years. Sandy's passion for giving back to youth organizations stems from one thing, and that's access. Access to education, access to fitness, access to arts, and most importantly, access to hope and opportunity for their future. And when you give those young people that access to hope and opportunity, you're not only strengthening the community today, but into tomorrow. Sandy's a force. Sandy would use the words devoted, number one. She's devoted to her kids, she's devoted to Paul, but she's really devoted to the causes and the organizations that she champions. And she doesn't take it lightly. Uh, when Sandy gets involved, it's full throttle. Sandy's gifts go beyond her unbelievable financial generosity, but she brings such a strategic and creative way to thinking about nonprofits and how to run a nonprofit, specifically here at Boys and Girls Clubs of Boston. Sandy and Paul have made a decision to focus on organizations like Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Boys and Girls Clubs of Boston, United Way, and most recently, Youth Villages because of their concern for at-risk youth and their families. She has just got a tremendous capacity to bring insight, focus, and energy to fundamental organizational questions that are gonna determine you know, whether people get helped or not. You probably can't scratch any good thing in this town in Boston and not find Sandy Edgerly behind it. It's just remarkable, her reach, her ability to dive into things, She's moved so many organizations forward, I can certainly speak for City Air. Sandy focuses so much on youth serving organizations because she cares about her community. And if you truly care about the community you live in, then you're always going to care about the future of the community. With youth serving organizations throughout the city, it's Sandy's touch is everywhere. Sandy thrives on results. Uh, that's why she is in this, to actually make a difference, make an impact. I think what drives their philanthropy really is a desire to help ensure that at-risk youth and their families have better, fuller, richer lives. When it comes to mission, it's all about kids for Sandy. Uh, and I think she approaches it as a mom and as a committed citizen and really realizes that our children are our future and we need to invest in them. On behalf of Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Massachusetts Bay, it's my honor to present the fifth annual Jim Pilata Award to Sandy Edgerly. Congratulations, Sandy.